Hey guys, what's up? This is Nine Nine Software. Today I'm doing another iPhone SDK tutorial. This time I'm not gonna use Objective C. I'm gonna use Quartz, and Quartz is uh, a language that usually uh, you or is used for um, drawing um, items on the screen. Okay, like you no interface builder whatsoever. Okay, let's go to Xcode, File, New Project. Let's go to View Based Application. What else name is? A quartz app. Save. Okay. So first, you go to um, just do file, new file, and do a UI view, Objective C class right here. Next, and then call us um, drawing, drawing, uh, drawing line. Okay. So in our dot h actually sorry right now we need to do do uh, sorry go back to here go file oh actually no sorry right click and do, do add existing files and drag in your call context dot dot m they'll be in the description for download okay check mark the box press add so here they are and all this is doing is it makes that the draw in context of like a view to load. So right when the uh, right when the app starts, it'll the draw the line. Okay. So we can just go to the .m file, delete all of this. You don't need it right now. Okay. Now enter twice from here. Do dash void draw in context. Colon some or parenthesis CG context ref Oops, ref um, context space begin curly bracket enter twice end curly bracket now do CG context ref uh, sorry set oh no sorry it's CG context set RGB fill color. Oh, sorry, stroke color. I meant. Oops. I said RGB escape stroke color, and then I'm just gonna do uh, context, and then 255 zero zero one. And after here, we're just gonna do semicolon enter CG context. CG context set line width and then we're going to do context and let's do 10 semicolon enter CG context sorry CG context stroke path and then we're going to do context semicolon enter CG point Space add lines double um begin curly bracket or sorry sorry begin square bracket end square bracket space equals space begin curly bracket enter twice end curly bracket in between here we're gonna do CG point make parenthesis let's just do forty comma eighty Parentheses, semicolon, sorry, comma, enter, CG point make, and then let's do 120, comma, 80. Parentheses, comma, enter, and then after this um, end code bracket, do semicolon, enter, CG context, add lines, and then do context, and then Add lines and then it's going to be size of parenthesis add lines and parenthesis uh, uh, a slash forward slash size of parenthesis add lines and then do begin curly bracket zero and curly bracket and then do a parenthesis. And then do a semicolon. 
And then last one is CG Context. Oops, CG Context. Stroke Path. And then it's going to be Context. And then Semicolon. So now go to dot .h. And for UI View, replace this with Call Context. And then do Import. Call context.h. Now go to resources, go to view control that nib. Click on the view and do fourth tab and this dude and then do um quartz oops, what do you call it? Oh, drawing line. Command S, now go back to Xcode, build and go. And if you guys want to know um oh, more about the quartz, look up the quartz demo in the uh, in the Apple documentation. So there it goes. I, we just made a line right there, and we can change the thickness by going to the stroke path, set line width right here. Let's just do um, a hundred. Go and go, and it should be ten times thicker. So. There you go. It needs a huge thickness right here. And we can also end up add another CG point. CG point make. And then let's do 200, comma, 50, comma. And then do CG point make. And then do 40, comma, 80. And let's change this to do 5. And this should make a triangle. There goes a triangle here, guys. And so you can draw shapes. You can also fill it. Here, um, I'll show you some. This is where I found found how to do this. The quartz demo in the application in the Apple documentation. So you guys can um, you can do gradients, patterns. You can do loads of stuff with quartz. So. You can draw lines right there. Rectangles, you can fill it. Change colors of that. You can do polygons. Arcs, ellipses. Quadratics. You can also open PDF files. Gradients. This is pretty cool right here. Stroke, you can change the th stroke width. You can blend colors. So, let's say I want blue. And... Uh, green, and then do multiply, and it just um, blended the colors together over there. Caps and joints, you can do rounded edges at the end. This is an awesome uh, learning program or app that um, Apple lets us use. So I'll have a link in my description for the application documentation for uh, Quartz demo. And so thanks guys for watching, and please subscribe.